What is up, guys? It's me, Troy, and I'm back here with another video. I'm gonna try to film in front of this window before all the light is gone. Y'all know my lightning, my my lightning, my lightning sucks. <laughs> You know, I want to make this video for just this really spur of inspirational reason. Listen, my latest video, I had did a, a book review on The Other Side of Pain by Mama DeBarge. You guys, I put a link or whatever somewhere. You, you can look on my channel and know where it is. Okay, whatever. But it took me three days to put that video together. You know, first I filmed it on Monday. Then Tuesday I edited the video down. And then next thing you know, it just went crazy. From that point on, like, lost footage. Um, I saved the edit and then it ended up being corrupted for some reason. I liter literally, I hate using that word. Why am I using that word? Don't use that word literally, child. You are not from the valley. You're southern, you're southern, but you're not from the valley. And then I literally, I did it anyway. But anyway, I had to go online and download the updated version of the Windows Movie Maker program just to recover my freaking file girl. And then I put some music on it because it is the DeBarge family. And y'all know I keep my, my channel always has music on it. Some kind of, you know, I want y'all to come and jam to my channel. But then I put the music on it and then the music would not allow me to save the actual video to export it onto my desktop. So I had to go and convert the actual MP3 of the music to a WAV file and then put it back all, then put it all back together and then save it. And then on top of the fact that I used three different, basically two and a half programs to make videos, it was just a freaking nightmare. Like by the time I uploaded that video, I was wiped out. Like I had to just just step away from the computer for that three long three day long journey just to get my mind back together that's the reason why I wanted to make this video I just kind of want to ask you guys those who are content creators you know what is, what do you go through when you're making these videos on YouTube to share around the world around the globe you what program do you use you know me I use Windows Movie Maker to do all the edits cuz let me tell you I don't Girl, we we're not rolling in all this to be trying to buy all that fancy stuff and I don't have a Mac and let me tell you the only way my laptop will save a video is if I have a daggone fan running up underneath the motherboard okay well the, the flat part of the laptop child but listen the point is that you know I use movies window maker to do like all of the editing the splicing and then I use that to do the openings and then I use that to add the music or whatever because Windows Movie Maker I just have a lot of practice with it and it's easier for me to to use and then once that's done I transfer the file over to a video pad that's where I do because I have like my videos are not filmed in HD it's 720 girl this is all I got you know for right now and then I transfer it over to video movie pad that way I can color correct the video because you can't do it in Windows Movie Maker and then that's where I, it allows me to add the little uh, you know pictures picture in picture items and that sort of thing and then, it, then I upload the video to YouTube. Now let me tell you, when I get to YouTube, because I had complaints about this back in the in the past, you know, sometimes the audio is not very good. So what I have to do is take the video and upload it, and then move it into the YouTube's own Video Movie Maker, adjust the audio up to the highest, and then has to upload once more back onto my channel. So that's occasionally that that's the situation. Usually I don't have to make it to that step. But uh, I was just, you know, girl, I was just so tired. <laughs> I was so tired spending three days making that daggone video. And it's just, it just, I was like, I'm tired. But, you know, all in all, I've always just been curious about, you know, I, I watch so many of you guys' videos and so many videos on YouTube in general. But I always want to know what is going on behind the creator's mind as they're going through the process of making these videos. You know, uh, what so I guess the point is, is that of this video is that I just want to ask you guys like what software do you use to make your videos you know what are some of the things that you like most about making videos and what are some of the things you least like about making them you know what is it that maybe you put into your videos that have that extra spice of individuality that you you know you hold on to as far as seeing what your peers do like what's that one thing that you feel like that you do differently in your videos or you don't even have to address that actually because it's okay it's like the kernel secret recipe you can keep that to your yourself I think we probably would recognize that at some point I don't know even more than that like what do you feel what is your what are your what are your feelings when you first hit that publish button you know what I mean like I, I really want to talk to some of you guys about this because I don't know nobody around here makes you these two videos that I can speak to but you know for me it's like oh my god like I do I get nervous I'm not gonna even lie you know me I don't front I get nervous I'd be like Lord have mercy. I have to say a prayer sometimes Lord have mercy Jesus I know my mouth is slick I know I'm sassy. I know I swallow my words, Lord. 
and I know I have a birthright of being misunderstood in the name of Jesus but please don't let these folks come up come for me on this video after I hit this publish button and then I hit it but I'm always nervous when it comes to that and sometimes I'm excited because you know you really just do the best that you can with each video and it's they're just not gonna be perfect like I just you know nobody's perfect you know it just ain't gonna happen. You just do the best you can. I think that's why one of the things to me, why you you can do the best that you can with, the, with your video, but I think the personality is always one of each individual selling point. So if you have that, you got it going off. You know, what do you guys feel when you publish a video? You know, do you get nervous or whatnot? And you know, well, let's talk about when you get notifications that someone commented on your video. Like, what do you feel about that as well? Because you know, sometimes I get it on my phone like you guys probably do. And sometimes I'm looking like, okay, oh, what are these folks gonna say? Like, I don't know, honey. You know how folks be on the internet, girl? Like, what are they gonna, I don't, like, I don't have to get nobody together. Okay, like, good, I don't have to get anybody together. But for me, Personally, my process is that like I'll upload a video and then I'll just like a day or two later then I'll come back and do all and answer reply to all the comments because just like kind of let them come on through and then we can just do it in one swell coup de grace comments down you know for that day but you know I'm just curious about that process with everybody you know everybody's different and I just want to get to know and understand some more of what you guys are going through when you go through the process of creating the video so that's just really it it was just spurred to me to ask this question having to deal with that dang on video child and at this point I don't want to make no more videos lies ooh lies there's so many lies in one sentence girl because I'm making one now <laughs> This is another thing I want to say. Sometimes I be watching you guys' videos and y'all just do not understand how, even though I don't know y'all know y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't understand how proud I am to watch some of you guys' video. Like that is just speaking from the heart. Like sometimes I just get so happy and proud to see, you know, people doing something that they love to do and putting themselves out there and, you know, giving themselves a presence and a voice and all of this. So that's just my bit of inspiration for right now. But I really do feel that way. And I really do be genuinely, you know, proud and happy to see some of you guys making videos. And it's just a cool thing, you know, to be a part of something like this. So that is it, girl. I am rambling my squash. I was going to say my squ <laughs> I was going to say my spash. My smash. My squash casserole is ready for me to eat. And... I guess I should tell you guys what I'm reading. I am um, Mr. Churchill's secretary. I would have been done with this book had it not been, that video, been for that video. Like, I started this book three days ago and I'm just now over 100 pages in. That's not today. I'm going to finish this book today. But as far as my reading TBR, this is the next to last book and then I'll be reading Popper to Pedigree after this book and I'll be all done. So, um, you guys can check out my latest videos that I have on um, Mama DeBarge's autobiography and then I have a video of the death, uh, Chili Death by Susan Wittick Albert all on my channel. But that's it guys. I'll put the questions down below. I'm starting to ramble. You know how I love to get on this camera and talk to you guys like Ghostbusters and peace! Oh,